Welcome once again, viewers, to the Get It Hush Show right here on TBP TV with me, your host, Jenny Lab. The show is probably brought to you by Access Media Institute and Alice Beauty Palo. My hair and makeover is by Alice Beauty Palo. Contact them on 0559-542-558. 0559-542-558. Quote of the day. Don't limit your challenges. Challenge your limit. A quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Salut, bonjour à tous. I'm Erika Josia, a proud former student of Arches Media Institute. Thanks to Arches Media, I achieved my goals and my dreams have come true. And today, I'm working as a journalist with the Pan-African TV, Africa News. To you who have always dreamt of becoming a great journalist, I will recommend to you only one school and the best one, Arches Media Institute. With more than eight years of experience in training journalists from several countries, including Congo, Gabon, Kenya, and many more, Arches Media is the private media school you can really trust. Arches Media is located in Accra, Ghana. You can call them to the number below your screen. Arches Media, integrity with professionalism. Thanks for staying on. It's still the Get It Hot show where trending issues are saved. Hot, 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 and hot. I'm Jenny Love. Joining today. My dad is the biological father of my three kids. Married Ghanaian woman confesses. A married woman from Ghana has opened up about her clandestine affair with her biological father which resulted in the birth of her three children. According to the 35-year-old woman, she has been married to her husband for years with three adorable children. But the truth is none of the kids is for the man. She recounted her complicated love story. In an anonymous letter to City FM's relationship show, Sister Sister, in which she disclosed that her father started having sex with her at age 15, and she even became pregnant at a point. My father always takes me on vacation, but my husband never complains because he sees nothing wrong with it. I'm 35 now. I have three beautiful kids, and they are all my father's. But nobody has ever suspected because I look like him. She said in the letter, Her mother, who was bent on knowing the man responsible for the pregnancy, threatened to disown her, forcing her to mention the father. The shock of this got my mother always thinking because she had no one to talk to. She fell sick and eventually died. The anonymous woman revealed. So our next trending story for the day, alleged audio recording attributed to Prophet Isaac Owusu Bempa, the founder and leader of Glorious Word Power Ministry International, has surfaced, where he is heard issuing threats against the current Inspector General of Police, Dr. George Ekufo Dampari. The leaked audio contains menacing remarks directed towards the IGP, citing recent arrests and alert more treatment as the motivation behind the threat. In the audio, Prophet Osu Bempa claims to have played a significant role in the election of President Nana Adudankwa Ekufuado and highlighted the sacrifices made to secure his victory. Shockingly, he alleges that some individuals lost their lives, others suffered serious accidents and endured amputations as part of these sacrifices. The controversial man of God warns IGP Dampari that he will deeply regret assuming the position and hint at his intention to retaliate for the alleged mistreatment during his arrest and alleged plot to assassinate him. The leap audio further reveals Prophet Ousu Bempa instructing an unidentified person to deliver the message to Dampari. The instruction include asking specific questions regarding past interactions with President Ekufuado, inquiring about the relationship between Ousu Bempa and the President's wife, and urging Dampari to seek information from media personality, Captain Smart, about Ousu Bempa's activities and sacrifices prior to Ekufuado's presidency. To our last trending story for the day, former Assembly member for Nogoko allegedly committed suicide. Residents of Yelibato, a community near Nogopo in the Ketu South municipality of the Volta region, are in a state of shock following the discovery of the lifeless body of the former assembly member for Nogopo Ativuta Electoral Area, Mr. Christian Kwame Azuma. The body, 
of the 60-year-old was found hanging on a rope in his living room in the early hours of Wednesday, June 14, 2023. Madam Baby Azuma, the wife of the late assembly member, told the Ghana News Agency that the deceased did not complain of any issue prior to the incident. She said, It was the deceased's routine to drive their children to school each morning, but on that fateful day, the deceased declined the usual routine and instead asked her to take the children to school, giving no reason. Madame Amuzu said she took the children to school and returned only to find her husband hanging on a rope in the living room. The current assembly member for the area, Mr. Jonas Apeto Agbagba, said he met the deceased just a day before the incident and they both had serious discussion on the forward march of the electoral area. The unfortunate incident has left many residents in the area wondering if the recent impasses between the chiefs and the people of Nogopo and Archbishop Charles Ejinasari, founder of Paris Chapel International, could have anything to do with the bizarre passing of the former assembly member. The body of the deceased has since been deposited at Sacred Heart Morgue at Abo, while Agbozome Police Command has started investigations into the incident. That's all for today on the Get It Hot Show right here on TVP TV. I remain your lawyer host, Janela. The show was proudly brought to you by HS Media Institute and Alice Beauty Palo. If today is your first time coming across my videos, kindly subscribe, comment, like and share. Stay tuned for more updates.